Hello dear students, the explanation of chapter 2 motions of the earth is over and now it's time for the exercise. Let's read the questions, try to answer and here the questions are also a bit new. So we'll be explaining that again. So let's start with the questions. Question 1. Name the two main motions of the earth. Now this is very direct question we already know. The two main motions of the earth are rotation, moving on its axis and revolution, revolving around the sun. Question 2. What will happen if the earth does not revolve around the sun? Now this is not a direct uh, question. Here the concept is uh, checked. So we know that because the earth revolves around the sun, we have the seasons, summer, autumn, winter, spring. So, and as the earth rotates, we have day and night. So if the earth stops revolving around the sun, we will not have different seasons. One region will have continuous summer and the other region will have continuous night. But as it is revolving around the sun, we will have this different reason, uh, seasons. And uh, along with it, if the rotation also stops, then one region will have continuous day of summer and the other region will have continuous night of winter. But uh, here the question is about the revolution. So let's see the answer. If the earth does not revolve around the sun, there will be no change in the seasons. All the regions everywhere will have the same season throughout the year that is continuous summer or continuous winter. Question 3. There is a test match between India and West Indies in the West Indies. When will you watch the match? During the day or at night? Now, to un answer this question, First of all, we need to know the location of West Indies and of India. Now we know this is India and here it is West Indies. And to answer whether we will watch it during day or night, we need to know whether West Indies and India have the same, are in the same time zone. Do they have the same day or do they have the same night or it's different. When Now we studied about the circle of illumination or when the earth is divided into two halves. Now, the location of West Indies and India, it is so far apart that uh, we can easily see. It may not be the difference of 12 hours, but there is a huge gap. So if India is having day, West Indies will have night. And if India is having night, West Indies will have day. So based on this, we can write the answer as West Indies is 9 hours 30 minutes behind Indian time. So if the match is during day there, we will watch it at night and vice versa. That is, if uh, it is at night there, we will watch it during day. Now normally the test match is of day, but it can also be day-night test. So we will write the answer in short like this. Question 4. What is the length and direction of your shadow in the morning, afternoon and evening? Now you guys have studied this concept since long and you know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Now we also know that when the sun is uh, in one direction, the shadow of the object will be in its opposite direction. And about the length of the shadow, well that depends on the angle at which the sun is. If it is directly overhead, the shadow will be smaller, if it is farther, then the shadow will be longer. Hence, let's start with 8 a.m. morning. In the morning, the sun is in the east, so the shadow will be in the west. The direction answer will be west and the length, it will be long. At 12 noon, that is afternoon, midnoon, the shadow, the location of the shadow will be below legs. It is about your shadow, so it will be below legs and the low length it is short we can see as the sun is overhead the shadow will be short evening 5 pm 
At that time the sun is in the west. Hence the shadow will be in the east. And the length of the shadow will be long. So your answer you just have to write this in the table. Question 5. The sun is never overhead in London and there is sunlight till 8 o'clock in the evening. Whereas the sun is overhead in Singapore. Why? Now this is a tricky question which uh, tests all your concepts, the understanding of all the concepts. First thing, let's see the location of London, UK, United Kingdom. It is a uh, city in United Kingdom. So let's see. It's uh, here which is uh, not near the equator, not near the Tropic of Cancer, but between Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle. We'll get the exact location, but let's see, keep it like this here. And this is Singapore. We can see it is near the equator. So based on this location only, we'll get the answer. Now, next concept which is being tested here is about the sun rays, how they fall. Let's see. Now, we know that the sun rays fall vertically on the equator, but it also falls as the earth is having a tilt of 23 degree 50 minutes. Uh, the region between 23 degree 50 minutes north latitude and 23 degree 50 minutes south latitude. That is the region between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. That region always has direct sunlight. That region has the sun overhead and the region beyond that does not get sun overhead hence the as singapore lies near the equator lies between the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn it will have the sun overhead but london will not have it and now when the sun rays are falling vertically on the tropic of cancer at that time we know that the region in the northern hemisphere will have longer days or we will get sunlight even in the evening so in general when the Tropic of Cancer will be having direct sunlight at that time in London even though it is farther from the Tropic of Cancer even at that time there will be direct sun uh, there will be longer days hence the sun can be seen even in the evening so you will write your answer as as the earth is tilted by 23 degree 50 minutes on its axis, the sun rays fall vertically only between Tropic of Cancer, which is 23 degree 50 minutes north latitude and Tropic of Capricorn, 23 degree 50 minutes south latitude. As Singapore is lying between this region and near the equator, the sun is overhead in Singapore. London is at 51 degree 50 minutes north latitude, which is farther from the equator and not even in the tropical zone. Hence, the sun is never overhead in London, the tropical zone, the region between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. When the sun rays are falling vertically on the Tropic of Cancer, Northern Hemisphere has longer days. Hence, sunlight can be seen till 8 o'clock in the evening because London lies in the Northern Hemisphere. So with this, Chapter 2, Motions of the Earth gets over. I hope you guys understood and the concepts are clear. Write this exercise in your notebook because your notebooks are going to get checked for before your unit tests. So that's it for today. Watch the video again. Let me know if you guys have any doubts. That's it. Bye.